Have you ever heard of the Philadelphia story? It's an old movie from way back in the 1940s. But don't let that fool you. It's packed with funny, shocking, and even sad stuff. So stick around. The movie's about a woman named Tracy Lord. She's getting married, but things get messy when her ex-husband shows up with two reporters. They're there to cover the wedding, but they end up stirring up trouble instead. Now, I don't have a personal story about how this movie changed my life, but I bet some people do. Maybe it inspired them to chase their dreams or taught them something about love and relationships. As for me, there's a scene in the movie that stuck with me. It's when Tracy finally realizes who she really loves. It's a powerful moment that shows how love can be messy but beautiful at the same time. What about you? Do you have any cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, if you're into old movies with drama, comedy, and a bit of romance, give the Philadelphia story a watch. You won't regret it. The timeless charm of a classic romantic comedy from 1940 continues to captivate audiences today. With a stellar cast that includes beloved actors such as Cary Grant, Katherine Hepburn, and James Stewart, their performances bring the characters to life in a way that has stood the test of time. Their chemistry and ability to convey the complexities of relationships make the movie a perennial favorite. Adding to its enduring appeal is the witty and sophisticated screenplay penned by Donald Ogden Stewart. The sharp dialogue and clever humor have made the film a joy to watch for generations, capturing not only the spirit of its era, but also exploring universal themes of love, class, and self-discovery. The movie's significance goes beyond entertainment. It played a pivotal role in reshaping the careers of its lead actors, particularly Hepburn, who saw a resurgence in her Hollywood career after the film's success. Exploring themes of societal expectations and the nuances of love and relationships, the movie remains relevant today, continuing to strike a chord with audiences. In summary, the exceptional cast, brilliant screenplay, and exploration of universal themes contribute to the enduring popularity of this classic romantic comedy. Throughout her career, Katherine Hepburn portrayed memorable characters, but her personal history was marked by tragedy. Several of her family members, including her maternal grandfather, her father's brother Charlie, and her older brother Tom, all died by suicide. Despite these difficult events, Hepburn's family chose to handle them quietly rather than dwell on them. Cary Grant, another notable figure, was renowned for his impeccable fashion sense. He was considered one of the best dressed men in the US, known for his unique style choices. Grant's charm and style were admired, placing him in the company of other well-dressed men like Miles Davis and Clark Gable. The original stage production of this story debuted in 1939 on Broadway, featuring Hepburn alongside Shirley Booth, Joseph Cotton, and Hayden Rourke. It enjoyed a successful run before concluding in 1940. Exploring the fancy side of Philadelphia society, the Philadelphia story looks at the complicated relationships among rich people. Almost 20 years later, the young Philadelphians revisits this idea with a more serious feel. Katherine Hepburn's impact grew stronger when Kate Blanchett won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for The Aviator, playing Hepburn's famous character. This marked the first time an Oscar was won for a role based on a previous Oscar winner. Virginia Widler grabbed attention with her spot on imitation of deadpan singer Virginia O'Brien's Rockabye Baby, showing off her talent and versatility on stage. A notable aspect of the movie is Katherine Hepburn's collaboration with Spencer Tracy, which spanned nine films. These include Adam's Riv, Desk Set, Keeper of the Flame, Pat, and Mike, The Sea of Grass, State of the Union, Without Love, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and Woman of the Year. Cary Grant, known for his demand for top billing, and a hefty salary received $137,000 for his role, which he then donated in its entirety to the British War Relief Fund. The film's enduring popularity is evidenced by its inclusion on the American Film Institute's list of the top 100 America's greatest love story movies in 22. Exploring casting choices reveals interesting aspects of actors' decisions. For example, Cary Grant, known for lead roles, surprised by taking a less prominent part in the Philadelphia story. This move might have baffled some, given his esteemed status. James Stewart, despite his heroic World War II background, rarely discussed his military service due to the hardships he faced. His post-war film choices, often darker, may mirror the struggles he encountered during the war. Notably, Cary Grant's wish for a role in the bridge on the River Kwai was denied by producers who thought he wasn't a good fit. This incident sheds light on the complexities of casting in Hollywood, and how personal experiences shape actors' career choices. In the movie, Dexter and Tracy reminisce about a boat named True Love. 
Tracy receives a miniature replica of the boat. Interestingly, True Love is also the title of a Cole Porter song in a later remake. Ruth Hussey's performance earned her an Oscar nomination, marking her only nod from the Academy. James Stewart, known for his iconic roles, was considered for a unique remake concept by MGM. The proposed film, titled Gentleman's Club, would have featured an all-male cast and a plot mirroring that of the original. While the remake never materialized, the potential cast included notable names like Jeffrey Hunter, Earl Holloman, and Tab Hunter, with Stewart among them. In the 1940 film, a notable aspect is Cary Grant's involvement. Grant, whose biography can be found in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, played a significant role in the production. The movie, based on a Broadway play, featured Katherine Hepburn, who not only starred in the original play, but also owned the film rights. Interestingly, these rights were a gift from billionaire Howard Hughes, adding a unique layer to the film's backstory. A distinctive element of the movie is Cary Grant's character repeatedly addressing Katherine Hepburn as red. This nickname holds a factual basis, as Hepburn's natural hair color is indeed red. This recurring reference adds a personal touch to their on-screen dynamic, highlighting the attention to detail in character development. In summary, the Philadelphia story, born from a Broadway production, showcases the dynamic between Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn. Grant's character, with the nickname Red for Hepburn, adds a nuanced layer to their on-screen chemistry. The film's origins tied to Hepburn's ownership of the material contribute to its unique narrative. In one of his last movie appearances, John Halliday played Seth Lord in a famous film that has lasted a long time. The Philadelphia Story, which came out in 1940, was one of Halliday's final roles. Another important person in the movie was Hilary Brooke, who later acted in The Man Who Knew Too Much. In this well-known Hitchcock movie, she played Jan Peterson, a friend of Doris Day's character. Interestingly, Peterson was Brooke's real name, which added a personal touch to her character. James Stewart, a famous actor, earned himself a top spot on the 50 Greatest Screen Legends Actor list by the American Film Institute, ranking at three. His timeless performances in movies showed his exceptional talent and secured his place as a well-known actor. The Philadelphia Story remains a great movie thanks to the performances of these talented actors, each leaving their own impact on the movie's lasting popularity. In a reminiscent scene, Dinah wears a necklace she once dismissed as smelly. This necklace, similar to one in a famous movie, adds historical charm to the story. Ruth Hussey, known for her roles in important films, earned her place in movie history. Meanwhile, items belonging to Katherine Hepburn were sold at an auction in 24, fetching large amounts of money. Among the items were Hepburn's wedding dress and a brooch with diamonds and sapphires that once belonged to Howard Hughes. Despite not having her Oscars because of contracts, Hepburn's personal items like checks and movie props fascinated collectors and fans. Dinah, Ruth Hussey, and Katherine Hepburn all contribute to the beloved film story, 